It's um sometime. Hi guys, can you guess the title of my next video? Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Why are giraffes so tall? Because they pull each other's necks and legs. Nah. Some scientists believe that being tall helps giraffes feed on leaves which are present at greater heights. As shorter herbivores are not able to reach those heights, it decreases the competition for food. Another study suggests that a giraffe's long neck is evolved to compete or fight for females. Ah. Male giraffes whip their neck and swing their heads violently into each other's ribs and neck. This is called necking. The giraffe having longer neck tends to win and hence is preferred by the female giraffe. A study also suggests that as the legs of giraffes got longer, their necks also gradually got longer so that they could easily drink water by bending their necks. Some people also think that being tall helps giraffes spot approaching predators. <laughs> while some others believe that being tall gave them a larger surface area, thus helping them regulate their body temperature. Hmm. Why did pirates huh? wear eye patches? To show off. <laughs> no. Huh? When light coming from an object oh. reaches our eyes, it passes through a hole called pupil. When it is too bright, the size of pupil decreases, oh. allowing less light to enter into our eyes. When it is dark, the size of pupil increases, allowing more light to enter into our eyes, thus helping us see better in dark. <laughs> hmm. However, huh? if we suddenly move from a bright room to a dark room, our eyes take some time to oh. adapt to the darkness. Hence, a pirate wore an eye patch over a single eye so that <laughs> that eye can get adapted to darkness. Oh. Now, while fighting in case the pirate had to go under the deck where it is quite dark, he just removed the patch from the covered eye which was already adapted to darkness, helping the pirate to immediately see in the dark. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Why is whale vomit so valuable? Cause it contains gold. No. Hmm. Some scientists suggest that when sperm whales eat animals like squids, hmm. they digest most of their body parts. However, oh. their sharp beaks are indigestible, which can cause irritation in the digestive tract. Mm. Thus, whales' digestive system produces a waxy substance called ambergris. Ambergris covers the sharp beaks, helping them to pass through the tract easily. Now, some people thought that whales <coughs> vomited this ambergris. However, a oh. research suggests that it is expelled from the other end. Then, over time, this ambergris reacts with air, salty water, etc., and hardens to form a waxy rock. This waxy rock or mm. ambergris is used by oh. some perfume companies. Ew, but why? This ambergris helps the perfume to stick to our skin, making perfume last longer. Hence, mm. perfume companies pay ah. thousands of dollars <laughs> for just a pound of ambergris. <laughs> Topic, properties of a liquid. Why is a huh? diver able to cut through water in a swimming pool? Ha! Simple. Because I taught him. No. This is because of intermolecular force. Huh? Intermolecular force is the force of attraction present in between the molecules of solids, liquids, <laughs> or gases. Now, the intermolecular forces in liquids are not very strong. Boo! This means I'm the strongest of all. Oh, please listen. Oh. Since the intermolecular forces are not strong, hmm. the molecules of a liquid are loosely <laughs> packed and they have empty spaces in between them. Hmm. As a result, the molecules can be displaced from their original position. <laughs> Hence, when a diver jumps into water, its molecules get displaced from their original position huh? and the diver is able to cut through the water. <laughs> Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Topic, nuclear fusion. Huh? Why is nuclear fusion not used huh? to generate electricity? Hmm. 
you really want to know the answer to this, right? <laughs> but wait, before answering the question, let us understand what is meant by nuclear fusion. Huh? When two lighter huh? nuclei combine to no. form a heavy huh? nucleus, a large amount of energy huh? is released. Huh? This process is huh? called nuclear fusion. Oh. Hmm? Where does this nuclear fusion take place? You think huh? that it takes place in a laboratory? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. You are hmm? absolutely wrong. Huh? Nuclear huh? fusion takes place oh! in the sun. The nuclei of two hydrogen huh? atoms join together to form a heavy nucleus of helium with the release of a large amount of energy. Oh. How do you think this energy reaches us? Ah. Nah. It does not reach us through power lines. Wait, I will tell you. The energy huh? released after nuclear fusion reaches us in the form of sunlight, ultraviolet radiations, heat, etc. Oh. Huh? Hey, but we're already producing electricity oh. with the help of nuclear fission. So, huh? why do we require mm. nuclear fusion? For this, oh. you need to first understand <laughs> the difference huh? between nuclear fusion oh. and nuclear fission. <laughs> As we already know, nuclear fusion is the fusion of two lighter nuclei with the release of a large amount of energy. The exact opposite process happens in nuclear fission. Here, a heavier nucleus splits into two lighter nuclei, releasing a large amount of energy. This process of fission is used in nuclear power plants, where a heavy nucleus of uranium is split into lighter nuclei. The energy that is released in this is used to generate electricity. Oh. However, there is a major disadvantage of huh? nuclear fission. Oh. Wondering what it is? Mm. The major disadvantage huh? is that uranium is a radioactive element. When uranium undergoes oh. fission, it generates radioactive huh? waste along with energy. This radioactive waste is very harmful for most life forms and the environment. Hence, huh? we need to find oh. a clean and safe source of energy to hmm. generate electricity. Huh? What source oh. would that be? Hmm? Would it be nuclear fusion? <laughs> Bingo, Hooray! you are right. Huh? Then huh? why are we not harnessing hmm? the energy of nuclear fusion to produce hmm. electricity? This huh? is because for nuclear fusion, oh. two conditions are required. Oh! They huh? are high pressure and high temperature. Only when these huh? conditions are met oh. can the two nuclei travel at very high speeds huh? resulting in collision. Mm. Huh? On mm? Earth, huh? it is extremely difficult to create such high pressure huh? and temperature. <laughs> Even if we are somehow able to create these conditions, huh? the question is how will we control them? Oh. As there mm? are many questions huh? unanswered and unsolved, mm? we have not yet mm. succeeded huh? in using nuclear fusion in the production of mm. electricity. Hmm?